हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट एट एग्जाम पेपर सोल्यूशन फॉर द नेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी यू जी सी एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज एनवायरमेंटल केमिस्ट्री एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स कंसेप्ट देर थ्योरी सो मेक श्योर यू आर रेडी विथ अर पेन एंड पेपर टू नोट डाउन द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस वीडियो सो विदाउट मच डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so the first question is on your screen from the statistics part so let's read the question the question was which of the following is a correct statement regarding the range as a measure of dispersion so these were the four options given and this was related to the measure of dispersion what is range so if you know the concept behind this then you will be able to solve this kind of question for that reason only i have made the chart and several important points for you to note down so before going into that let me remind you all about this 49 rupees 5 mock test series which will strengthen your preparation ji ha ye 5 mock test aapko denge ek solid revision for the net examination so two very simple steps and you can get this subscription you can only pay rupees 49 on 89172522297 this number and send your screenshot for the payment to the email which is provided here or to the telegram account of the jacklit personal account then you will get the links for the mock test and appear any time as per your convenience ji ha aap apne samay ke anusar kabhi bhi is test ko de sakte hain so what is a measure of dispersion so in statistics a measure of dispersion describe the spread of a data around a central value so central value can be mean median or mode and around the central value how much the data is spreaded for example if the mean is this point so what is the spread of the data from this point to this point that is around the mean median or mode value that is the measure of dispersion so use hum measure of dispersion kahenge jo ki hamare data ke spreadness ko uske central value ke around describe karta hai so what is this measure of dispersion there are two very important things to note down one is absolute measures another is relative measure so absolute measure includes range quartile deviation mean deviation and standard deviation so questions are also asked that which of the following is not among the absolute measure of measure of dispersion so you should know all these four are around the absolute measures and what are relative measures of measures of dispersion they are coefficient of variation coefficient of quartile deviation coefficient of mean deviation so these are the seven things which are included in the measures of dispersion now we will know the characteristics of measures of dispersion so these questions are also asked in the theoretical part so first point is measure of dispersion should be rigidly defined so ye defined hona chahiye properly and rigidly that is measure of dispersion ka ek criteria next thing is it must be easy to calculate and understand so jo bhi measure of dispersion hai for example range quartile deviation mean deviation and standard deviation it should be easy to calculate and understand third characteristic should be it should not be affected much by the fluctuation of observation so it can be affected but it not be much affected by the fluctuation in the observation and finally it should be based on the overall all observation so sare observation ko lekar hi measure of dispersion ko hum denote karte hain now we will only know range in this video in some other video i will discuss other measures of dispersion so range so what is range a range is the most common and easily understandable measure of dispersion so ye bahut hi common aur easiest hai understanding ke liye among all the measure of dispersion and what is it it is the difference between two extreme observation of the data set so what is this i will tell you so in a data set if x max and x mean are the two extreme observation for example ek observation diya hai there is one observation given 1 2 3 and 4 so these are the observation so here x max means 4 so maximum value is the extreme end and here x min is the x minimum is the minimum value at the extreme end so these are two extreme values that is minimum and the maximum so what to do after we know that this is the maximum value and this is the minimum value when we subtract maximum minus minimum then that value will give the रेंज वैल्यू ऑफ दिस डेटा सो ये जो डेटा दिया गया है वन टू थ्री फोर 
उसका रेंज जो होगा वो होगा मैक्सिमम दैट इज़ फोर माइनस वन दैट इज़ मिनिमम इज इक्वल टू थ्री दैट इज रेंज ऑफ दैट गिवन वैल्यूज आई होप यू आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ वी शुड नो द मेरिट्स एंड डीमेरिट्स ऑफ द रेंज बिकॉज आवर आंसर लाइज हियर हमारा आंसर इसी से ही मिलेगा सो लेट एस नोट डाउन द मेरिट्स ऑफ रेंज इन द मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्सन सो वट आर द मेरिट्स इट्स द सिंपलेस्ट ऑफ ऑल द मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्सन एज वेल नोन नेक्स्ट थिंग इज इट इज इजी टू कैलकुलेट easy to understand and this is very very important it is independent of the change of origin so origin agar change hota hai if the origin is changed then it is not dependent on that demerits of the range so first point is it is based on the two extreme observation as we have known hence a bit affected by the fluctuation so if there is a fluctuation then it is a seen that there is a bit of affected in the observation bit affected next thing is a range is not a reliable measure of dispersion so this is also important point is not a reliable measure of dispersion and this is one of the most important that is it is dependent on the change of scale so ye do point aapko yaad rakhna hai independent on the change of origin but dependent on the change of scale so now with this two value will be able to answer this question the question is on your screen and we will know that option number Two will be the correct option. Why? Because it is stating that range as a measure of dispersion is independent of the change of origin, but not of the scale. That means it is dependent on the scale. So that is why option two will be the correct option. So I hope you are able to understand. Let's move to the next question. The next question is the match the following. Very very simple, and if your basics are clear, you are able to answer this kind of question. So this is given in list one statistical test. and in list 2 what are their applications so we have to match one by one with the correct application so here i will tell you one by one that chi square test so chi square test the application is to test the goodness of fit between theory and experiment so observed value expected value these things we have to calculate in the chi square test that means it is to test the goodness of fit between theory and experiment then coming to the one way anova so what is one way anova one way anova is used to compare more than two sample means the name is one way but it is used to compare more than two sample means coming to the next point that is the pair t test so pair t test is used for testing the significance of difference of means you should note down pair t test t test is used to significance testing of the difference of means finally z test ko aa jate hain z test is used in the application for testing the significance of a single mean so there is a minute difference that is z test significance of single mean here pair t test significance of difference of means that means more than one means so i hope you are able to understand here option number 3 will be the correct option let's move to the next question i hope you are writing down all these things now coming to the environmental chemistry question this question was asked in the december 2020 examination and the question was consider the following statements regarding the reactions of pesticide in soil so ye jo question hai pesticide section se aaya tha so we'll know one by one and then we'll select the appropriate answer first the point was they may vaporize that means the pesticides may vaporize into the atmosphere without any chemical change yes this is correct pesticide have this peculiar characteristic that they can go into the atmosphere without chemical change with the help of vaporization technique second is they do not move downward through the soil in solution form so this is absolutely wrong because they can penetrate the soil and they can deteriorate the soil and water also so this is not the correct option third point was they are resistant to microbial decay so this is also not correct because they are not resistant to microbial decay because we are involving microbes so microbe ko incorporate karte hain bioremediation technique ke liye so that we can degrade this pesticide and finally the point was they may be absorbed by plants yes plants do absorb this pesticide present in the soil so d bhi correct hoga so in this way we were able to know that a and d are correct so most appropriate option will be option number 1 a and d are only correct statements regarding reaction of pesticide in the soil let's move to the next question next question is from the silicate and clay question very very frequently asked this section the question was which one of the following silicate clay minerals exhibits highest interlayer expansion and the options were 
mount morilonite vermiculite chlorite and kaolinite so here the correct option will be option number 1 mount morilonite is the silicate clay mineral having the highest interlayer expansion among the four option given so iska do intermolecular expansion hota hai ye highest hota hai among these four silicate clay minerals let's move to the next question the next question was one of the very important and frequently asked topic that is volatile organic compounds so the question was volatile organic compounds that are vocs are of great concern because of the following reasons and the options were once such compounds that means once vocs are in the wafer state they are difficult to control in the environment second point was most of them are ozone depleting substance third was they contribute to a general increase in reactive hydrocarbons in the atmosphere and fourth one was they are less soluble in water so among these four the correct option will be option number 3 these vocs are of great concern because they contribute to the general increase in the reactive hydrocarbons present in the atmosphere so let's read about the volatile organic compounds characteristics सो दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स रिलेटेड टू वोलाटाइल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स जो कि एग्जाम में आ सकते हैं यू शुड नोट डाउन ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट सो लेट मी स्टार्ट विद व्हाट आर वी सो वी आर द गैसेस दैट आर इमिटेड इनटू द एयर इन आर एटमोसफेयर फ्रॉम प्रोडक्ट्स और प्रोसेसेस सम आर हार्मफुल बाय देम including some that cause cancer so some of the vocs also causes cancer in order they can also react with other gases to form other air pollutants so vocs jab other gases pollutant ke sath mix ho jate hain then also they pollute the atmosphere and they pollute our air where is the vocs coming from so vocs aate kahan se hain so vocs can be found in air indoors and outdoors so indoor and outdoor there are two sources of vocs and most important and familiar vocs include benzene formaldehyde and toluene so these three are very important compounds you should remember benzene formaldehyde and toluene so first we'll know about indoor sources so indoor means inside the door that means which are coming from the building materials for example paints varnishes sealants adhesive flooring carpet or pressed wood products so these are the building materials which are releasing vocs into the atmosphere and some other indoor sources include home and personal care products what are they they are cleaners and disinfectants furniture also they release vocs when they are processed pesticide release vocs air fresheners cosmetics and deodorants fuel oil and gasoline so these are the home and personal care products releasing vocs then are some of the activities which are releasing the vocs into the atmosphere they are smoking tobacco yes smoking tobacco also releases volatile organic compounds dry clean of the clothes they also released vocs arts and craft products they also release due to the chemical present and wood burning stoves they release and also office printers and copiers the chemical used for the cartridges and all they also releases vocs and next is outdoor sources so outdoor source kya hai vocs ka these are gasoline which are used outside also and inside the home also diesel emission wood burning oil and gas extraction process and their processing this also releases vocs into the atmosphere also from the industrial emissions these vocs are released some more important point i would like to tell you through this that is breathing vocs can irritate our eyes so this question also came several times in the examination that what are the effect of the vocs they can irritate our eyes nose and throat they can cause difficulty in breathing and cause nausea they can damage the cns that is central nervous system as well as other organs some vocs can also cancer they can cause so which we have discussed but not all vocs have all this health effect so all vocs are not that much harmful but some of them are having this thing next is vocs play a pivotal role in the creation of ground level ozone ye bahut important hai here it is mentioning that volatile organic compound they help in the formation of ground level ozone so we'll go back to our question and here we will see that it was written that most of them are ozone depleting substance so this is incorrect so they are not depleting substance in the stratosphere but they are forming the ozone in the troposphere region 
नेक्स्ट वी विल ऑल्सो नो दैट दे आर इम्पैक्टिंग द लंग्स बाय कॉजिंग लंग डिजीज दे एग्रीवेट द आजमा इंक्लूडिंग द ब्रोंकाइटिस नाउ वी शुड ऑल्सो नोट डाउन दैट वी ओ सीज आर मोनिटर्ड दैट मीन्स उनका लेवल जो है चेक होता है एज पार्ट ऑफ द एयर टॉक्सिक्स मॉनिटरिंग नेटवर्क प्रेजेंट इन मिनेसोटा सो यू शुड नोट डाउन इन मिनेसोटा दे आर मॉनिटर्ड वेरी वेरी इफेक्टिवली बिकॉज दे आर सिग्निफिकेंट कंट्रीब्यूशन टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ग्राउंड लेवल ऑजोन सो दीज वर सम ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच वी डिस्कस्ड इन दिस वीडियो आई होप यू एंजॉयड इट एंड यू हैव लर्न समथिंग न्यू फ्रॉम हियर इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल टिल नाउ मेक्स योर यू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट दैट नोटिफिकेशन आई कैन टू गेट ऑल फर्दर अपडेट्स रिलेटेड टू एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एंट्रेंसेज सो ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन स्टे ट्यून कीप स्माइलिंग एंड बिलीव इन यू सेल्फ